Hey everybody, this is Allison with Southland Goldens. I am here for our week two video of our Penny and Tommy litter. So I've got Luke, who is my son, also the head trainer and the super big helper. He's the one that makes sure all these puppies are used to lots of noises, anything and everything that they're probably ever gonna come in contact with. Luke's the man that makes sure that they are used to that, obviously in a very safe way, but he's the one that helps me make all the noises as you can probably imagine. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> so we're here with the two pups and they are doing great. So we are definitely gaining weight, um, gaining weight really fast. And that is just because there is only two of them. Penny is a very good mom who does not want to leave them at any point. So we are actually having to kind of limit her time with them as far as nursing goes. So she still can be with them, just we're not allowing them to nurse continuously just because we don't want them to get too big too fast. Um, but they're right on track. Obviously, they're going to be a little bit bigger at that eight week mark. Not going to mean that they're going to be much bigger when they're full grown. It's just that they're gaining a lot of weight at, at a younger age, again, because there's only two of them. So, um, but our vet says everybody's doing great. Everybody's right on track. Their little eyes are open. I'll try to show you that. I'll try to Hold them where you guys can see. Um, their vision is still a little bit blurred right now. Um, Mr. Green was actually the first to open his eyes. And then within the next day, Miss Purple's eyes were open. So they have reached all those little milestones, checking them off one at a time. Uh, these two pups love each other. So you'll see that I posted the supply recommendations on the blog. So make sure you scroll down on the blog. It's underneath this video. You'll see the very last thing is a lamb chop. I know it seems crazy. Why in the world am I buying a stuffed animal? Um, we have found it super helpful for making the transition from our home to your home where they're not with their litter mates anymore. So we'll actually send home a blanket with them that'll have the scent of their litter mate. And what I recommend that you do is you take that blanket, you're gonna put the lamb chop, you're gonna lay the blanket out, you're gonna put the, the um, lamb chop on top of the blanket, and more than likely that is going to be their comfort area to take a nap because it kind of mimics, you see how they lay on top of each other. The lamb chop kind of mimics their litter mate and then you have the scent of their litter mate on the blanket. So it just kind of really helps those first couple nights. We still have some dogs, some people that keep me updated that their dog is, you know, seven, eight, nine years old and they still love the lamb chop. So um, lamb chops are a pretty popular thing, aren't they? You recommend them? Okay, so Luke, Luke recommends it too. Um, oh, look at you, Mr. Green, you're dreaming. You must be chasing, chasing squirrels. Is that what you're doing? Oh, that's a good dream. Um, so yeah, just a little trick that we have found that helps. So the lamb chop, also you will see on the supply recommendation is the food that we feed. So we feed TLC. They'll be on the whole life puppy food. They need to stay on that until they're about 12 months old. At that point, they're gonna switch over to the whole life dog food. So if you have any questions once they get around that age, um, just let me know, I'm happy to answer them. So go ahead and order that because that food you can only order online. It's not sold in pet stores or anything like that. Uh, the company is really great. You can actually set up an auto, auto ship. So it will deliver to you. They'll, you put in there how much food your dog is eating and they'll keep track of when you'll start to be running low and they'll make sure you have another bag before you run out. So super great company, um, super easy to work with, but do go ahead and order that so that you have it when your puppy gets home. If you do decide, hey, I don't want to stick with this food, I wanna do something else, that's no problem. I still recommend you buy a bag because if you're ever going to switch a puppy's food, you wanna do it gradually. So you're gonna do 80% what we feed, 20% what you wanna feed and continue to slowly you know, increase what you wanna feed, decrease what we feed. However, for the first two weeks when you get your puppy, I wouldn't change anything. Um, sometimes the stress of a move in a new home can cause a puppy to have loose stools and adding new food on top of that makes it 10 times worse. So I would not, I would not change that at all. Um, most of the time puppies come right in, they don't have any um, upset tummies or anything like that, but it does happen occasionally that some just, you know, with the stress of a move, it can kind of um, upset their little tummies. But when we get closer to them going home, We'll go over a couple of tricks that kind of help make sure that that doesn't happen. Isn't that right? Oh, 
Yeah, he's just using your sister as a pillow. Usually, Miss Purple that uses you as a pillow. Uh huh. That's and right. I'm payback. Payback. That's right. All right. So we'll go with the we'll go with the boy first. So we still have Mr. Green. I'm going to stand up so you guys can get a good good look at him. So this is Mr. Green. He is now 3.9 pounds. Oh my goodness, what a big, big boy. I do believe he is going to be a big, blocky boy in general, just based off of his paws, um, off of his frame. I think he's going to be a really big boy. He's got a thick coat already coming in. Isn't that right? We also start trimming their nails now, so he's had his first little pedicure. Uh, we'll continue to do that until they go home. We're running their fingers through their paw pads messing with their ears through their gums just to make sure that they are used to being handled so can you see are your little eyes open kind of gotta get close for you guys so this is mr green had a whopping 3.9 pounds sweet little boy that loves to dream uh-huh he'll get to run in his dreams it's so funny adorable all right green's luke's favorite color so we'll we'll put green right there and this is Miss Purple, and I have heard that Miss Purple's new family, um, the young lady who picked out Miss Purple, her favorite color is purple, so that's great. Um, so this is Miss Purple. She is now 2.8 pounds. So again, these guys are gaining weight um, faster than they say it was a litter of, you know, 10. They'd be a lot smaller just because they don't have to fight for the milk, do we? No. Her eyes are open. Are you not going to show them? You're not going to show them? Little pigments coming in nicely. She also has a thick coat, a light colored coat. Okay. So this is Miss Purple at 2.8. Look back down so you guys can see them. Oh my goodness. You guys look like you've already had your Thanksgiving meals, don't you? Don't they, Luke? So make sure, like I said, check the blog out, scroll down, check the supply recommendations. Um, if you guys have any questions, we are happy to answer them. Again, these first couple videos are not super entertaining in my opinion, just because this is all we do. We eat, we sleep, we gain weight. That's it. Um, so, but they're doing great. Like I said, eyes open right when they were supposed to. Doing great through our socialization process as far as being handled where, you know, we're running fingers through their paw pads, their ears, their gums, all the things that if you do take a dog to a groomer, they're going to say thank you so much for doing this. Um, but if you guys have any questions, let me know. We hope that you and your family have a very happy Thanksgiving. Don't we, Luke? Mm. That's right. So we'll be here taking care of the pups. If you guys have any questions, let us know. We'll see you back here next week for our week three video. Bye.